Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Today, we're going to look at the distributive property. Now, we looked at it before when we introduced it, but now we're going to use it in some problems that are a bit more involved. And of course, we got to get Charlie out. He better be ready to go. Charlie, what are you doing over there? Quit fooling around. We're doing the distributive property. What? Huh. Yeah, that's what? right. Now, remember, you don't have to learn this now. You what? can always come back and do it what? next semester. Oh. Uh-huh. All right, here we go, right there, Charlie. Now, we have negative three times the quantity x plus four. Order of operations says we're supposed to do the parentheses first, but you cannot add x plus four unless you'd like to repeat the class with him. What? So, what we have to do is we have to use the distributive property, Charlie. We're going to distribute that negative 3 by multiplication into the parentheses. And so, we have negative 3 times x, which is negative 3x, and plus a negative 3 times 4, which is a negative 12. And remember, adding a negative number is the same as subtracting, so our answer is negative 3x subtract 12. And I know there's some of you that can skip that middle step, but as long as you can explain why, you're fine. And I'm just showing you why. Okay, let's do another problem. So here's one of those problems where people like to use a shortcut. But before we talk about the shortcut, let me go through the steps. Okay, again, we're supposed to do parentheses first, but we can't do it. So we're going to distribute that 3 through. Now, a lot of people like to view that subtract 3 as a negative 3. You can because, remember, adding a negative 3 is the same as subtracting 3. And so if we bring down the 2, we can distribute that negative 3 through and say negative 3 times x is negative 3x and negative 3 times 4 is a negative 12, right? And remember, adding a negative number is the same as subtracting or you can visualize it as distributing a 1 through the parentheses and you get 2, subtract 3x, subtract 12. Now, I know some of those, some of you say those two middle steps maybe throw you off a little bit because you're used to just using the shortcut. So if we take that out, that's fine. Some of you can go straight from that step to there and that's really where we're working to. You can do that as long as you can explain it to somebody as to why you can do that. So once we get through that, then we look at our like terms to subtract 12, right? And which is negative 10 subtract 3x, or we generally put the variable first, and we have negative 3x subtract 10. Any answer, either of those two answers is correct. Now, let's do it the fast way, or the kung fu way. Some of you say, oh, 2 subtract 3 times x plus 4. Well, it's 2, and then immediately you go negative 3 times x is a negative 3x, yes, because you're subtracting 3x, and negative 3 times the positive 4 is negative 12, and there it is. You end up with the exact same answer as we had before. So, as long as you can explain it, you can do it. Remember, you have to know what you're doing before you can start kung fuing. Anyway, here we go, Charlie. 3 plus 4 times 3x plus 1, Charlie. Okay. Now, we're going to distribute that plus 4 through the parentheses. 4 times 3x is... Publix. And 4 times 1, 4. There we go. Now, combine our like terms, but generally we'll bring our variable first. And what's 3 plus 4? 7. 7. There you go. 12x plus 7. Here we go. Now, we have 2 times the quantity x subtract 1 plus 3 times x plus 1. Remember, we can't do the parentheses first, but we have to do the multiplications before we do addition. And so, our multiplication requires the distributive property. So we go 2 times x, and then we'll do 2 times a negative 1. And then we'll do a positive 3 times x, and a positive 3 times 1. And so here we go, 2x, subtract 2, plus 3x, plus 3. You getting this, Charlie? Yeah, you better get it, or you're going to get it. Anyway, here we go, Charlie. Let's combine our like terms. We have the 2x and the 3x and the negative 2 and the plus 3. And so, what's 2x plus 3x, Charlie? 5x. Negative 2 plus 3? 1. Very nice. And go ahead and box your answer. There you go. Let's do another one. Here we go, Charlie. Now, don't get scared. We're going to do the same procedure that we've been using. We're going to take the 2 
times the 2x and the 2 times the negative 1 and the negative 4 times the 3x and the negative 4 times the negative 1. Okay, now, Charlie, 2 times 2x is 4x. Now, 2 times the negative 1 is negative, negative 2. 2. Negative 4 times 3x? 12x. Negative 12x. Ne and negative 4 times negative 1 is plus, plus 4. 4. It works. Remember, those negative numbers, we're visualizing them as being adding negative numbers. So you kind of got to think about that. That's why this works. And now, remember, order of operations has to go left to right, but we can get around that by visualizing everything as being added. And so our like terms are a 4x and a negative 12x and a negative 2 and a positive 4. And now, Charlie, what's 4x plus a negative 12x? Negative 8x. And a negative 2 plus 4? Plus two. Very nice there, Charlie. Our answer is negative 8x plus two. And that is our lecture on the distributive property. So keep, work, keep working and keep doing your homework. And we'll see you again soon.